plain and simple, college is what you're going to make it. Yes. Yes. It's really it's nothing more than that. Um, if you have your mind set on what you want to accomplish when you get here, how, many, how long it's going to take you to do it, you can do it. And you will find those crowds and that, those people who are on that path towards where you want to go. Um, it's no secret, when you get to college, there's two roads you can take. It's the right one or the wrong one. Um, the freedom that you get by coming to college, no parents, you know, they're going to bug your cell phone like crazy. But other than that, you can sleep in. It's your, your choice. You choose. So if there's a party on a Wednesday, which there will be, if, if there's a if there's a Tuesday. event on oh, oh, Tuesday or Monday, you know, it's, they throw parties all during the week, so it's not like going out on the weekends, not school night kind of thing. There's going to be a party on school night. There's going to be an event on school night. There's going to be a panel. There's going to be all kinds of things on your time, the time that you need to study, the time that you need to be preparing for your future. So. And, and it's going to happen. The euphoria that you, that you get when you get on campus, oh, I'm in college, I'm away from home. You determine how long that's going to last. And you determine what you're going to allow that to do for you. I mean, they're gonna, these guys are in organizations, um, sororities and fraternities are going to be ready. They're going to be scouting you before you're scouting them. They're going to be looking at you, trying to see how you are. And all year, they're going to be looking at you, oh, okay, she's a part of He's a smoker. And you'll disqualify yourself by your actions. However, it's in, the ball is in your court from the time you get here. I know people who graduated in three years. Some were on the extended plan like myself and graduated later. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that's a true story. So you, you determine what you want to do with it, not to scare anybody like, oh, I don't know what's going to happen, but like you said, the people that come in with you, you may not see them after the first semester, the first month, maybe a year. So it's really important that what you do your freshman year is that foundation that sets the stage for where you're going to go. If you do a 2.5 in your freshman year, then you're going to, that's pretty much what you're going to do for the, for the remainder of your college career. If you excel high and you do 3 to 4.0, then that's the stage that you set. If you academic probation after the first semester, then it's going to be a real struggle. And I can tell you from personal experience, once you go under a 2 it's murder trying to get to, a, 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 to an acceptable uh, GPA. So I just tell you, the ball is in your court when you get here. There's going to be a lot of activities going on. There's going to be frat parties. Sorority party is going to be all kinds of things. Campus of religious life is going to be doing things. You're going to want to get involved. But like I said, you have, to, you have to plan. You have to set your mind on what you want to do. And you'll do exactly what you came to college for. 